morning guys, G2P Angler Jason Reese here. It is uh, mid-March morning, hang out at Hillsboro Inlet here in South Florida. Uh, with me today I've got my good friend John Trollin, in from Cincinnati, JG, his wife Gina, <laughs> and we're heading out to do a little bit of trolling this morning, it's supposed to be rough. So we're going to see if it's uh, hopefully under under four feet. We're going to do probably a couple hours of trolling and then we're going to get the kites up. It's supposed to get a little bit windier for the uh, late morning. So we'll see what we can do on the troll, then do a little bit of uh, kite fishing. Going out in the spread here this morning, we're going to do um, on the 30 wide, we got a uh, planer with a uh, blue and white sea witch and strip. On the uh, starboard outrigger, we're going to do a uh, pink tuna taco. On the shotgun, we're going to do this blue, I'm not even sure what it's called. It looks like, uh, like almost like an islander with a little squid at the bottom. Then we're gonna run, we're gonna try for Wahoo first thing this morning before the sun comes up. So we're gonna run a DTX 200 here. And then we're gonna run just a, uh, a skirted ballyhoo off of the uh, port side outrigger. So we'll get out there and see what we can get into. And hopefully when this camera comes back on, we're hooked up. See you guys there. Spread out. JG's already hooked up. First fish of the day. How deep are we? Only about 200 when it when it hooked up. Go ahead and fight it in now. Here you go. It's not doing much. So we'll bring him in right right on this side. We had four or five lines in when the uh, planer rod got hit. So we're just, you can see the lighthouse back here. We're literally just out of uh, Hillsboro Inlet. Let's see what this first fish is. Try to get on this first. Morning Wahoo bite, might be a Bonita. Let's see, it looks longer. Bring him up on this left hand side. Little, you can flip that in. All right, King guys. Nice. One on. One on. A miss hit on the shotgun, and it looks like the planer's got something on. It's bouncing around like we're hooked up. Cholin's bringing this one in. How deep are we? In 350 feet of water. Get back. You, you build it in too far. Oh my gosh! I just broke it. It's okay, I got the I got the fish. We're hand lining it in. Broke, broke it right here. Hand. You scan the handrail. Yeah. You got it this speed. Yeah. Okay. Sure, you want some gloves? No, I'm I'm good. What, what broke right? I, I was trying to pull the swivel out and um, of the uh, the eye, and I broke the uh, the braid knot off of the bridle. Oh, will you watch this line here to my left? Are we over it or under it? Uh, we're under it, right? No, we're, we're, we're under it. We're we're all right. We'll just pull. yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll bring it under. Oh, it's not a barracuda. What is this? Is it another king? No, it's a wahoo. Is it really? I see. I think I see the stripes on it. That's great. Let's yeah. see. Even the wahoo, yes. All right. All right. We got. Yeah. We're eating good tonight, team. Look how beautiful that is. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
yes, I thought he was a good sign. Oh. Uh, I'm going to bring him your way. Look out. Yeah. Look out. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. All right, guys, way to go! Nicely yes. done. Right on. Way to go, way to go. Wow, Good that's two, 250. The shotgun just got hit. Gina's fighting it in <laughs> slowly. It it's okay, put it, put it right to the middle of your stomach. And you're going to lift the rod tip up and then reel on the way down. See that? So lift it up, get some okay. slack, and then reel on the way down. And it's way out there, so you're gonna be fighting this fish for, for a little while. <laughs> I could see it way out there. Oh. Yep, yep. Okay. use your use your, yeah, use your body. There you go. And then reel down. Ready? Reel down. Reel. There you go. Yep. Do the same thing. Pull it up. And then reel the oh, did it come off? Nope, you're good. Keep going. Keep tension on it. Doing good, Gina. And we were just, uh, we snapped the line from the planer, uh, bringing that last Wahoo in. So I was just re rigging the planer rod when this one got hit. So Trollin's actually holding our leader out there right now. <laughs> one extra thing for us to deal with here and navigate. But we got it. There you go, Gina. You get into a rhythm. I can't believe I'm going to do it. You want me to take it? Yeah. Sorry. No, you're doing great. He'll tire the fish out and get back on again. I hope it's a blackfin. It's gonna be a tuna. Oh really? Huh? Tuna? Yeah, it's a nice blackfin, guys. Oh, right on. I can flip it. Oh, you want to hold that rod? Yeah. Yes! Nice, nice, nice. Hell yeah! Look at that. Wow. Beautiful. Love it. Alright, bring it back to speed. Alright. Uh, Great mixed bag we got going here. So it's another <laughs> another fish on here. We're um 850, we've got a tuna, a wahoo, and king in the box, and it looks like JG is hooked back up on the shotgun, hoping another, another tuna here. Although we're also a little bit hoping for a mahi just to keep mixing the bag up for the day. You getting progress on them now? Yeah, yeah. We're still going too fast, we're going six knots, we're going pretty slow, but I, I can dial it back more if we need to. Back off. Huh? Back yeah, up a little bit? Yeah, watch this. Uh, I'm worried about this outrigger. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I can see it. There we go. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> it's way back there. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to cross the Missy Pine straight now here. I'm worried about the port side outrigger. Where are you? We're, we're going slower now, so just don't give him any slack. Oops, 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 oops. Yeah, he might have just... Oh, shit. It was dumb. I think I've lost it. Planner just popped here. We came in a little bit shallower. It's getting warmer. We came in to try to pick up a second king. And the planer got bit. Let's see if there's anything on it here. I'm gonna get this out of the yeah. No, you're good. Oh, it got bit off, yeah. Wow. That or the it got cleaned off, or the knot gave out where the mono clicks in, but either way, it's gone. The rest of the morning troll kind of wrapped up with only two more two more bites. Uh, lost one, the other one didn't hook up, so we went uh, three for six on the troll. We got a, a king, a nice wahoo, and a, a nice tuna, so a nice mixed bag for the morning. And now we are to the point where we got about 
eight mile or uh, eight knot winds, which is the bare minimum to get this kite up. So we're gonna give it our best shot here. But I wanted to make a couple of points uh, to folks do this for the first time because it took me a while to learn some of this. So the first thing is, these kites are all tuned for these spars to match this exact kite. It's been already proven to be flown before it ever shows up in your tackle store. But what you might not know is if you see these dots, all four of these dots need to face the right way together here at the corner. And this is how the kite was tuned from the manufacturer. So if you want to get the truest flight, you want to make sure those are set up there. And then on the back side here, we have the bridle, which can be used to give yourself more wind or less wind and help this thing fly a little bit cleaner into the breeze. So we're gonna launch the way it is now and then we can adjust the bridle. Our point here is just to get it up in these, uh, in these low winds today. 20 so feet uh, between Yamato and the uh, Boca Inlet here off of Boca. So we've got the bow into the little bit of breeze that we have and we're gonna try to launch this kite out. Give me a little bit of momentum. The key here is not getting it wet. So these star drags are really helpful in your kite reel for uh, keeping the right tension without burning your thumbs down. And um, for those of you without electronic out outlets on your boat, this is pretty much the only way we can do it is, is manually. Okay, hold it right there. That's perfect. So what we're waiting for is these, um, on the spool, we already have wind-on swivels, different sizes we'll go through and grab these clips and pull them up as we, uh, as we hit. And then we'll, we're gonna bridle some, uh, some goggle eyes on two, and we're gonna bridle one uh, or, and hook up one uh, pilchard on the other. So we have kind of a different size baits in the, uh, in the mix. You can slow down a little bit, JG. I think we're, I think we're pretty good. You can slow down just a little bit, yeah. We got it, okay, so that's the first one. You see it clip there? All right, so we're gonna get these baits hooked up and we'll see you back on when we're hooking baits up. up. We got one bait out and we are um, barely keeping the kite up. So we're just having to stay, having to bump in gear here to keep it up. We're gonna try to get the other ones out and then maybe just go south here and see if we can keep the kite up with three baits on it. So I wanted to show you guys about bridling baits, which is super important for um, kite fishing. So, our biggest fish we're probably going to catch out here is going to be a sailfish and these small wire hooks, these tournament hooks, are, they don't look like much. They are absolutely uh, strong enough to bring in a big sailfish and you have mahi, tuna, wahoo, if we got lucky, the wahoo probably going to bite this off, but we have um, plenty of other fish in play here, but the point is, is we're going to rubber band this hook right on top of this goggle eye. So we get this band in. We put the, um, the hook in right above or right beneath his dorsal fin into his shoulder. It's going to bring this hook right to the front. So no matter where this fish gets hit, we are hoping to uh, have this hook fully exposed. And the good thing is, especially with sailfish, which is a good chance today, is it goes right into the corner of their mouth for a, a safe a safe release for sailfish. So that's how it looks all bridled up. We're gonna toss them out, make sure we're into the wind here, and I'm gonna just ease up on this star drag, and it's gonna start to send this bait further out of the water. And now the guy running the kite, trolling here, is gonna make sure that we get enough line let out as the, uh, the baits are going back. And you can see there, we got, we got two baits out there now. We're just trying to keep that kite up to add one more, one more bait on here. The last one we're going to add on here is a pilchard, just so we have two larger goggle eye baits and one small pilchard closer to the boat here, just in case they're keying in on any particular size bait out here today. We don't know yet because this is our first round. All right, guys. So we uh, caught the fish in the morning troll. Then we kite fished and it was not great. We got the kite up once with three baits, but we had a hard time keeping it in without keeping the boat in motion. So we tried to bring it in and add a little more wind to the bridle, but 
we dunked it. I'm not sure we captured it on camera, but I absolutely dunked it twice. So there was no way that kite was flying wet in this minimal wind. So we're just gonna drift a couple of baits here, like 80 feet of water. We're just south of Boca now. Um, this is kind of the last attempt to use some of our live bait up here. And then we're gonna uh, head in and go enjoy some fresh wahoo, tuna, and maybe throw some kingfish on the grill. See what, see what we do when we uh, get the fish back home. Rest of the crew in, JJ, who was a big catcher today. Jay and I, big catchers, rest of the terror, rest of, rest of the group. So we're gonna do some raw wahoo, some raw tuna, some fresh peppers that my neighbor got for me, and some jalapenos. Nice. And we're gonna keep it simple. So, if somebody wants to grab a fork, they'll be the first one, to, first one to taste. So we're gonna do a nice, flavorful piece of wahoo. Dropped onto cracker. I'm gonna grab one of these peppers, toss it on, and who's gonna be the first one to try it? A little bit of fondue. So, who's getting in there? You're the captain. Yeah, go. You uh, leave. Alright, I got the first one. Okay, so good. I'm gonna cut all this up. Okay, I'll go some good fish on the grill. Good day, we'll see you guys out there. Cheers to a great day on the water. Great friends. Thanks everybody for coming. Cheers. Cheers.